Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Mark, Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, verses 43 to 45. Let us pray. Most High Heavenly Father, thank you again for another day. Thank you for all that you have given us through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Thank you for, uh, uh, Lord, as your word said, sometimes we, we don't even know what to speak or what to pray for. And I am really in this place because there is so much there is to be thankful for that my mind cannot even, I can't start listing them, but if we should go on and on for all the things that we should be thankful for, we should be, th we should be praising you and thanking you for eternity because this is how great your blessing is. It abounds more and more and it's never ending. So as much as I can say with words, I do give you thanks on my behalf and for the beha on behalf of all those of your creation. And that goes to those who acknowledge and those who dismiss your blessings. Because even your word has told us that you have poured out your blessings on, the, on, the, um, on both the, the righteous and the unrighteous, or both on the faithful and the unfaithful. You are a merciful and gracious God that does all these things unto us. And some may ask, why do you pour out your blessings on the unfaithful? But we who have knowledge would know that we were all unfaithful in your sight at some point in time because all of us can confess that we were enemies of you through sin. But yet still, we are here preserved today. So we look more so that you are a gracious God, a merciful God that did not take us out in our folly. But you blessed us yet still that we, we, our lives were preserved and we weren't taken out in our sins. That we came to know you, the one true God through Christ Jesus. And having known you, you have helped us to repent of our sins and to turn unto you, to follow after you. To love you with our whole heart, soul and mind and strength. So these are, the, these are the things that we have learned over the years. That we are grateful for all that you have done for us. And we do pray for those who are against you. All we can do is pray for them and show the light of Christ to, towards them. So that if they be willing... They will turn away as you have caused us to turn away from darkness and seek you in your marvelous light. We do not pray for anyone to be destroyed. We do not pray for the condemnation of any. Because, as we just said, we were all in the same boat because of sin. And because now we are, 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 are um, we have disembarked from that, bar, uh, that boat and now are, is on the ship of righteousness, doesn't mean that we blow up the, <laughs> do blow up the other boat with the um, other people on that vessel. We want to show them that that vessel goes on to destruction, but your vessel, Lord Jesus Christ, goes on to salvation and eternal life. So dear Lord, I just pray that you teach us to, to help each other, keep us lowly, keep us humble, in all things, keep our minds also humble, our hearts free from guile or bitterness or envy or strife or any such thing. Keep us from the, 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 um, the things of the flesh that do destroy us. And instead, dear Lord, purify us, sanctify us, that your Holy Spirit may dwell in us and lead us unto all manner of righteousness. <laughs> And we need this because as the days progress and we go through the tests and trials and emotions of life, we do need your strength. We do need your direction. We do need your instruction so that we can navigate this life with the instruction, the manual to, um, 
to do so as you have done righteously, Lord Jesus Christ. And that we are able to grow up, the te grow up and teach the youth this, um, these instructions, point them in the way, the truth and the life of who you are. So that when they are of age, they shall receive of their own self and be partakers of your Holy Spirit to be directed in everything that they do through Christ Jesus. This is my prayer, now and always and forevermore. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. All righty. So Mark 10, verses 43 and 40 to 45 says, But so shall it not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Amen. All right. So the example of Christ Jesus being the ultimate servant, but yet still being the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, is in the eyes of the unbeliever, it might be contrary right it might be like it doesn't make sense how can you be king of king lord of lord and in the next breath you'll be the servant of all right and that is because to us right to looking from just a, a, a carnal lens we can we always see where somebody who is a ruler somebody who is um a king little k right they are normally the ones that are um are being served right those are the ones that have the servants who serve them and they would hardly lift their finger i heard this i don't know how true it is right because um i've heard that even when the um the queen of england was uh, alive that she used to have people who would wipe her bum right i don't know how true it is right correct me if i'm wrong i th think they give them some 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 name like royal through royal bomb wiper <laughs> sorry <laughs> but um i don't know how true it is right but it would it wouldn't surprise me it wouldn't surprise me but i can't imagine that somebody are wiping my thumb right no we don't know we don't know if people would do that but as i said i just gave that as an example i don't know how true it is but i gave that as an example that the people who call themselves royals are high and mighty the rulers of this world they always want to be served in different aspects right but when christ jesus came here he, cho he showed us the contrary he was god with us right emmanuel right the image of the invisible god right and yet still when he came what did he do he served us right he fed this um fed the multitude he healed the sick he mended the brokenhearted right he casted out demons he preached the good news he, he ultimately suffered, died, buried, resurrected for our sake, right? He showed us this life of a servant, but yet being Lord of Lord and King of Kings, right? And don't get it twisted because he came and showed us that um, the life of a servant doesn't mean that he is the servant to us, right? He's the great teacher, but yet still we are servants unto him. But as I said, we have that relationship with him that he doesn't just demand us to serve him without showing, right? He's the one that um, um, practices what he teaches, right? He comes and shows us as an example what we ought to be doing, right? So that we can look and say, all right, cool. And the thing is, he asks us to do what? He asks us to do this, not even so much unto him, because there's nothing that we can do unto him like we the, what we're going to make him a meal right this god almighty right but he tells us to help one another be servant one towards another right and this is how we're going to honor him and this is how we're going to serve him by serving one another right so as he said again there it, it just goes to show you that the life of a servant of christ is something that the lord will 
justify in the day that he does judge the world the world right he he's going to look upon us and say we are faithful servants if we likewise do like him and serve one another and we're always going to do this the premise in which it's done is through the love of god through christ in us right so just um a reminder and yes listen read the whole chapter do whatever you can see the context of it all right <clears throat> anything that you want to share you can always drop it in the comment section or send it in to the word at eachreach1.org and as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit so have a blessed day everyone and god willing we'll catch up again tomorrow